Amen. Well, I heard the Lord say, many of my people have been discouraged and they've lost hope. But in 2015, I'm going to restore hope. I'm going to restore hope because hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the answer comes, it's a tree of life. And it's time that my body become a tree of life that I've called it to be. 2015 will be a year of answered prayers and restoration of hope for the body of Christ. He's going to answer our prayers. Amen. I heard the Lord say, prepare yourself for the new. New jobs, new opportunities, new vision, new encounters with me. Strip yourself of the old ways, the old thinking, the old things, and embrace the new that I have for you. Embracing change and trusting me will be the two things that will propel you into your destiny. Push back the fear factor and walk the faith walk, trusting me even when you cannot see. In 2015, dividing walls shall begin to fall in the arenas of religion and government. For Canada, uh, God reminded me of a slogan that had arose a few years back, proud to be Canadian. I heard the Lord say, Christians will begin to arise and say, I'm proud to be Christian. Canada is a Christian nation and my name shall be lifted up in Canada. Canada will be known around the globe as a Christian nation and it will remain a Christian nation. It will be a sheep nation and not a goat nation and it will embrace me. Canada will say, I'm proud to be a Christian nation. And then um, lastly, I heard for Eagle Worldwide Ministries, I heard the Lord say, relationship, relationship, relationship. In 2015, I shall release a new love that will embrace and cause strong relationships. In that place of relationship, there shall be a building and a growing and a great strength and productivity that will come forth. I'm releasing great favor in this hour. I saw a money bag and I saw that it was tightly closed with a string. But then I saw the string get loosed and coins fell out. And the Lord said provision is on the way in 2015. Amen.